how to factorize an algebraic expression by the method of regrouping. Now, before discussing this, a quick discussion of what we have already discussed in our last video tutorial, that is factorization by the method of common factors. The video link of the tutorial is given in the description box below. Now, in this algebraic expression, you notice that it has three terms. And when you break this term into its irreducible factor form, that is 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by x multiplied by x, in the same way it is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by x, x, x. Here you have 2, 7, x, 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 right? 2 was common, 2 was common, 2 common. So the factor 2 is common in three, in all these three terms. Then this x is common, this x is common, and this x is common. This factor x is common in all these three terms. Again, this x, this x, and this x. Uh, you have three factors common. 2, x, x, 2, x, x, 2, x, x. That's why you can take out this common factors, right? In the same way here, it was 2, 2, 3, A, A, B, then 3, 5, A, B, B, right? So here, 3, 3, A, A, B, B. So these three factors were common in these two terms. Therefore, you took it out the common factor. So in this case, we had common factors. But what if you don't have common factors, like in this problem, right? So in this problem, all, we have four terms. This is first term, this is second term, this is third term, and this is fourth term. So in all these four terms, we don't have a common factor or common factors. So how to do this? Well, in this case, what you have to do, take this, these two terms together and take these two terms together. And how? Break down this uh, term into its irreducible factor form. So this is 2 multiplied by x multiplied by y. Then this plus sign here. And if you break down this term into its irreducible factor form, it's 2 multiplied by y. Then this plus sign. Now if you break down this term into its irreducible factor form, it's 3 multiplied by x. And the same way, if you break down this 3, into its irreducible factor form, then it's actually only 3. Now, if you group these two together, and here you have 2, here you have 2, here you have y, here you have y. So the two factors in these two terms are common, and that are 2 and y. So 2 multiplied by y, common, and therefore inside the bracket you have x plus 2. Now this is distributive property of multiplication over addition. In the same way, here you have 3, here you have 3 in these two terms. So you take out 3 common factor, the factor 3 common, and inside the bracket you have x plus 1. Again, distributive property of multiplication or addition. Now, this algebraic expression is actually of two terms. One term is this, 2y multiplied by x plus 2, because you have plus sign here, and then you have 3 multiplied by x plus 1, right? We have these two terms now. In these two terms, sorry, it should be, it should be x plus 1 because here we have taken 2x common, right? So 2x means, sorry, 2y means x plus 1. Here it's 2y. So now in these two terms, if you pay attention, x plus 1 here, x plus 1 here and x plus 1 here, in these two terms, this x plus 1 factor is common, right? In this term, 2y multiplied by x plus 1, 3 multiplied by x plus 1, x plus 1 is common. So take out this x plus 1 common, so x plus 1 common factor, then inside the bracket you have 2y plus this plus sign and this 3, distributive property of multiplication over addition. If you open it, then it is 2y multiplied by x plus 1 plus 3 multiplied by x plus 1. Therefore, we have factorized this algebraic expression into its two factors. That is, x plus 1 is one factor, 
2y plus 3 is one factor and when you write it as x plus 1 multiplied by 2y plus 3 it means that you have factorized it okay now next question you will you should ask is what the hell is regrouping here what do you have regrouped right and that's the right question what is regrouping because you haven't regrouped anything here right okay suppose the same problem the same problem 2xy plus 2y plus 3x plus 3 is given like this it's now 3 plus 2xy plus 3x plus 2y right now you'll understand the importance of regrouping it's the same problem same problem but now we have changed the position of the terms now in this case group together 2xy and 2y because if you write this as 2xy plus 2y right and if you write this as 3 and 3 plus x so this is 3 plus 3x so from here if you take out 2y common the common factor that is inside you'll get x plus 1 then this plus sign and here you take out 3 here then this is 1 plus x right now x plus 1 means 1 plus x only so you can write it as 2y x plus 1 plus 3 1 plus x means x plus 1 right so now you have two terms and x plus 1 the factor is common here so this can be written as x plus 1 multiplied by 2y plus 3 right we have regrouped now you have two factors x plus 1 and 2y plus 3 and since you have written the product of two factors that is x plus 1 multiplied by 2y plus 3 therefore this is the factorization of this algebraic expression now if you take a look on this one we have same answer x plus 1 multiplied by 2y plus 3 and x plus 1 multiplied by 2y plus 3 same answer you have regrouped it okay okay so let's end this this discussion by solving this last problem 6xy minus 4y plus 6 minus 9x can you find one factor that is common in all these terms no so we can use regrouping and how let's write it as 6xy minus 4y and this as minus 9x plus 6 all these things you know regrouping and all requires a require a lot of practice you have to practice 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 and then you can quickly figure out how to regroup the terms together okay it's all about practice so 6xy minus 4y minus 9x plus 6 and this is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by x multiplied by y then minus sign 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by y right irreducible factor form then minus 3 multiplied by 3 that is you write in its uh, prime factor form multiplied by x and then it is 2 multiplied by 3 now 2 here and 2 here y here and y here let's take 2y common factor outside and within the bracket you have 3x minus 2 then this minus sign here right now in this particular two in these two terms you have 3 and you have 3 right now let's now if you look at this one this is 3x minus 2 so we want 3x minus 2 on this side also what we can do let's take out this minus sign also this minus outside the bracket and then 3x that is the common factor that is 3 not 3x we have only three common factor three outside since you have taken minus sign outside this will, this will be 3x this was plus and if you have you are taking minus outside the bracket inside the bracket you will have minus and then 2 right so this becomes 2y multiplied by 3x minus 2 that is the first term and then you have minus sign and therefore this is the second term now 3x minus 2 and 3x minus 2 this is the common factor in these two terms let's take this out 
So this is 3x minus 2 multiplied by 2y minus 3. So 3x minus 2 multiplied by 2y minus 3 is the factorized form of this algebraic expression and the two factors are 3x minus 2 and 2y minus 3. These are the two factors and when they are written in the form of multiplication then it means that you have factorized this algebraic expression and this is the answer.